when the Green Sports Alliance and the Kings, when we merged up uh, now a little over a year ago, became partners, fast friends, and, and, and wanted to do something special, we knew the golf tournament would be a way to do that. We didn't want to also do just a, a regular golf tournament. We wanted to make it very special and add some very unique dynamics to the events, whether the way we're gonna recycle products here, the way we're gonna change water bottle usage, uh, the way that we're gonna do some signage on the course. Well, the, the biggest part uh, for me personally is I have a five-year-old daughter. Um, you know, I, I wanna do my part you know, to make it to where you know, she can grow up and, and also show her the right way to, to do things and, and how to take care of the environment. And again, if we don't all do our part, things aren't gonna get any better as the world gets more and more populated and we, as we use more and more water and more and more of the resources that are here. Perfect example is do, doing the single head coverage. You know, we put um, over two hundred fifty thousand dollars into single head coverage. We've saved a, in water spending by upwards of twenty percent over the long run. That, that's going to be substantial because water is not going to get cheaper next year than it was this year or cheaper the following year. Same thing with electricity. As you replace bulbs, you replace you know the units themselves for, with LED. Um, you're using five percent, ten percent of, of what you were using before, um, and the bulbs last. 20 or 30 years versus you know, a couple of years, but the benefit long term is huge. Another project that you know, as the building aged, you, you, know, you have a choice to put the cheapest thing possible that you can see through, or you have choice to put things that are, in, that are slightly more energy efficient. We've opted to, to do more expensive windows that are more energy efficient. To me, when the Kings, when Green Sports Alliance, when Granite Bay Country Club all want to rally together on a topic such as this, making this tournament greener, making this environment greener, I think all it does is it gives more people more knowledge that they, they too can get involved. We're talking about Granite Bay who changes how they water, the way that they landscape the course and, and other practices from recycling to procurement lots of things that they're doing that, that's making huge differences. It's the right thing to do, not only for the environment, for our future generations, but also from a business standpoint. Everything that we've done thus far has a return on investment, whether it's one year, two years, three years, five years, 10 years. Um, there is a return on investment. All of us need to do better. Um, the golf industry as a whole and people in general just need to do a better job. I, I want to at least be able to look back and say I did my part. I think together we harness the power of of being able to share more and really being able to get more people behind this movement of making the world a greener place. I know as an industry, in other clubs that I've been to and other ones that I've talked to, I, I, you know, the, the industry is a little bit behind um, in, in this area. And you know, hopefully, you know, I hope to be a, a leader not only within our company, within our industry and in moving this forward.